All right, guys, let's look at row B, which is practice, experimentation, and revision. Quickly, let's look at the response for this project or this uh, investigation. How can I explore the overlooked yet habitual moments of daily life through digital photography? Clear idea. Sounds good. How can I bring attention to the relationships between traditional and modern practices? I began, there's a key word right there. When they say I began, that tells you something's going to change. That's a great way of talking about um, revision in your piece. I began by exploring the perceived value of everyday routine by documenting and juxtaposing, love that word right there, great art word, these 2D representations with the real-time 3D action. This process brought to my attention the role of traditional practices, languages, and cultures amidst human networks present in the mundane. How do mundane routines create human connections? How do traditional practices further these connections? Now, keep in mind, your written revision or reflection does not have to be this flowery. You just want it to be clear. So I love that they say I began, and I also love that they said this process because it tells the, the, the reader that they indeed had um, revision, experimentation, and investigation over time that it changed. So you can take a look at these images if you would like. There are great examples in here of using uh, process images to help support the piece. So here is a very detailed sketchbook page, including reference images and notes on how they used this information to create some of their pieces. So you can go through all of the different images if you would like. It's a great portfolio. But again, we are interested in the evidence of revision and experimentation. Here is another image. So here they wanted to show more sketchbook pages, but they chose to show what amounts to eight sketchbook pages in one image instead of putting one sketchbook page per image. So if you want to add more images, this is a way to kind of get around that 15 image limitation. Let's scroll down some more. So in its entirety, there were uh, 13 actual works and two images of process images or uh, uh, evidence of revision and inspiration in this particular portfolio. So they got a score of three, and here is the rationale for that score. So let's see, they're talking about the written evidence in this portfolio shows how the sustained investigation explores the overlooked yet habitual moments of daily life through digital photography. Yeah, we, we already talked about that. In images two through four, where daily routines are represented, there is clear evidence of exploration of ideas through a variety of physical photo manipulation. So if you go back through the images, you notice it's not just an image of digital photographs, but there's images of digital photographs that have been printed, crumpled up, and then a photo of that crumpled up photograph taken. There are photograph collages where photos have been printed and then collaged together. There's images that have been printed and cut up. So the, there, that's an, an evidence of an exploration of a media, of taking it further than just the standard. The different approaches of design with the use of color selection, juxtaposition, layering all support the written evidence. Images five through eight emulate real 3D actions slash objects through disassembly slash reassembly and are supported by the study of various types of textures and compositional layouts. So here they're talking about how several of the images here are taking it further than just a regular photograph and they're becoming something that's almost three-dimensional. So that shows evidence of experimentation. Okay, let's take a look at one that got a score of one. So the student's theme or for their sustained investigation says, things that have guided me through this investigation is working with different materials, from graphite to watercolor, acrylic paint, wash, and photography. Working with them gives me more freedom to create paintings and pictures that will be what I want to see in my portfolio. Also, what other may want to see in it. Others, sorry. Knowing that art is so broad that creating it can be anything and doesn't need to look the same. Once again, what is this investigation about? We don't know. There's really no investigation here. It's literally saying whatever I want to paint in or create using a variety of media. That's not an investigation. So let's take a look at some of the images. You've got colored pencil drawings. You have watercolor drawings. You have sketches and graphite. You have a couple of digital photographs. 
more digital photographs. And that's it. What is linking these? That's the problem. Okay, so let's take a look at why this does not show practice, experimentation, or revision. So they got a one for this category. The portfolio has written evidence of practicing. It says that the student was going out and getting different pictures with different colors, shades, and lighting. However, there's no visual evidence to support that statement. So they said in image two, there's very little investigation of color, shading, and lighting, as can be seen with the simple application of paint in the flowers here. Although the written evidence for image nine mentions that the photograph setting is at a Japanese restaurant with the emphasis on different colors and shades, uh, shade values, there's no color in this image. There's hardly any color and it's so dark, there's very little variety in the values either. Furthermore, in image 12, there was an emphasis on a different number of things, which lacks the specificity of the design ID. Basically, they're saying, what, what are you talking about? You know, what are you trying to, to say? and does not connect to the sustained investigation. Overall, the visual evidence of practice, experimentation, or revision does not relate to a sustained investigation and could use more development, could use a lot more development. All right.